Ooh, it looks a little blurry. So it looks a little crazy right now. Don't worry, it always looks like that. So right now I'm going in with my Pro Concealer for MAC. I've been using this for years. It is the Pro Long Wear, I can't even talk. The Pro Long Wear Concealer right here. And I have it in the NW50. So there you go, that's, the light's better. NW50, I had to move the camera really fast. NW50 right here. So this is a little bit darker than my foundation. My foundation, I like to go lighter. I remember I remember, I went into MAC one time and wait, before I get into that, let me show you guys what I'm doing. So I like to use my finger. I'm a finger kind of girl. I'm a finger kind of girl. So I go in, right? I don't know where my mirror is. London had it <sighs> to see up close, but I'll do the best I can. So I go over the dark spots. I use this. Okay. And I go over all the dark spots that I see. Okay, so I'm going over the dark spots. If I I, I know because I've been doing this forever, so I know when it looks like it's a lot, so if it's a lot, then I grab it and I take that and I spread it. And I always hear that people say like, it's good to go like heavier on like the concealer and all that stuff. So that way you can use, you don't have to use a lot of like foundation and all that, but I'm not gonna lie guys. I like to go a little bit heavier on the foundation because I like to have that like that really matte finish look. But honestly, uh, it just depends on the day. Well, I'm not ashy, I apologize in advance. Um, but I'm gonna keep the video rolling, put some lotion, I'm keep the video rolling, but it depends on how I'm feeling. So some days I go like really heavy. Some days I don't with the uh, concealer. Some days I go lighter with the foundation. Some days I don't. So it just kind of all depends. But for my makeup, I use the, the same regimen all the time. Because I noticed when I was doing my makeup before, I was like, dang, why the heck? You know, I did my makeup yesterday and I liked it better yesterday than I did today. And I walk around not happy or satisfied with my makeup. So I got a regimen where that lotion in i got a regimen and now i stick with the regimen and now that i stick with the regimen my makeup it, it looks the same all the time but that's how i like I, I love the look that i do so i like to stick with that and i'm happy with it every time so i finally found like a regimen in everything that works for me so now i'm doing a little bit extra today i'm spreading it spreading it throughout my face and the reason why i'm doing that is because i noticed i did my makeup two days ago and i did not all this side it was like through my makeup you can see like the dark spots now i wasn't i wasn't tripping because it still looked good and it, it made it look more kind of like natural but uh i was like i don't really like that so i'm going a little bit more over here because my little hyper hyper pigmentation is like kind of like you know worse on this side so as you guys can see as you guys can see you can't really see any dark spots, right? No, you can't. So it's hidden, right? Now, now, this is the most important part that, you, that that I do, okay? I let it sit. I notice that when I don't let it sit and I go, when I go right in with my foundation, I notice that I'm like, ugh, like it looked like my, looked like my foundation and the concealer is like mixed together. Like it didn't give me a set look. So because of that, I let it sit for about like five minutes, not nothing excessive, but about five minutes and I let it sit, I let it dry, I let it like, you know what I mean? Sometimes I go like this, but I let it, I let it sit and set on my face before I go on my, on my foundation because I don't want it to move when I go on my, on my foundation. And I noticed that when I let it sit, I noticed that when I let it sit, when it when I apply my foundation, I get like a smoother look, right? So, like I said, you guys, this right here, this is matte. This is a little bit expensive though. I believe it's like, mm, how much I spent on this? Like $32? This lasts for a long time. So like this usually lasts me for a year. But I don't do my makeup that often. And then sometimes I do, sometimes I don't want to go in with this. Sometimes I go in with my color corrector from um, LA Girl. So let me show you guys. And sorry in advance if you hear uh little people like i said they're all in my room they're all around me so 
I usually go with the LA girl pro concealer. This is like my best friend too. So it just kind of depends. Like if I'm having a day where I'm just like going out running errands, like not going anywhere fancy or anything like that, then I go in with this. If I'm like going out or I'm going to a dinner, I'm going to like a wedding or a party or stuff like that, then I go in with this. So it just kind of like depends on like the day. But this works just as good as this. Even though this is high end, this is more expensive. This is like $6 this is the truth and before i i learned about this i was using this and my makeup still looked amazing so it just all depends so i either go with this or with this but i really like this i like this too but like i said it just depends on the day so i'm gonna let that sit but why i let that sit i'm gonna tell you guys that um i when i went into story time i remember when i went into mac and this girl was i was trying to find a, a shade right and this girl went in with, oh my gosh, bro. No lie, I'm not even lying. Th this, this is the color she gave me, the, the foundation that she brought me, bro. It looked just like this. It was, she put it on me. I said, okay, so when are you going to apply the foundation? She was like, it's right there. I was like, right, right where? What are you talking about? She's like, it's right there. I said, okay, hold on, time out. Time out, time out, time out. I said, I do not want a foundation that is m the same as my skin color or darker. I don't. It was like this. Let it be quiet. It was like this. I was like, you can't, it don't even look like I have any foundation on. My friend was laughing. I was like, it don't even look like I, I have foundation on. I was like, no disrespect, but do you have somebody that can kind of help you, guide you to what I'm looking for? I told her, I said, I like my makeup to pop. I have red tones in my face. So I want a makeup that, that helps the, the, the red tones pop. This ain't gonna fly, sweetheart. This not. So then she seemed to one of her friends and her friend was like, okay, well, She's like, no offense, but I, I, you know, as you, as you could tell, like I'm, you know, darker skin complexion like you. So I understand. So let me help you. So I was like, cool. So she came in with this one right here that I use. I've been using this for years, guys. This is all I use. This is right here is NW44, right? Right here. So as you can see, like it looks a little bit lighter than my actual face. I don't know why my face looks kind of dark right now. I wish I had like a light right here so you guys can see better, but anyway so she gave me this and then when she put it on i'm like yes 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 so it brought out the red tone it brings out my features it brings out my structure it brings out everything it was perfect and i was like yes thank you so this is what i've been using forever and it, it, i get a lot of compliments i know a lot of people don't like mac i have a friend a friend that was like uh uh I, it's too cakey for me like i i prefer the fenty I prefer the Fenty uh, foundation, right? And the Fenty foundation, it's cool. I like it. Um, it's really pretty. But the thing is, is that like, I my skin is not there yet. Like, I'm about to get on back, back on proactive. I'm also like, you need to get back on proactive because your face was flawless. And I was like, I know. So I'm gonna get back on proactive. But uh, I, I like like the this is like a has a high coverage. I like the my friend is more like a natural kind of woman like she doesn't like it to look like she has a lot of makeup on and she does not go heavy with the foundation like she, her face is clear when she goes in with foundation you can't even tell she can't even tell she has it on that's cool me no i want it to look glamorous i want it to pop so it's all about the preference you know what i mean so i just wanted to show you guys up that, that story it's all about the preference so now we're gonna go in so i let it sit a little bit and i can tell that it's hit that it's set it's set in my face because when it's not it's like wet and it looks like sticky and wet but now that i'm looking it looks dry and as you guys can see it looks dry so now i'm gonna go on with my baby uh right here the mac foundation right and like i said i use my fingers so that you can see kind of like some spots down here eh, am i tripping over it no but let me see. There's some spots down here. Let me just go in a little bit with that. Because I don't know what's going on, you guys. On this side, it's like this side, I, I don't see anything. And then this side, I'd be like, oh my gosh. Like, did I even like cover it up or found with the foundation? So, yeah. So, I'm just going to kind of let that sit for a little bit. Let that, uh, and I know my brows look a little bit crazy, but don't trip. I'm about to go in with the foundation and all this other stuff. I, I cover, I cover, I cover it up. So, yeah. So let me let that kind of like sit, you guys. And I told myself today I'm going to watch more makeup videos. My, uh, my friend and I, we really into makeup. So her and I, like she, 
just used to go in with just like the eyeshadow right here. I was like, oh, that's so pretty. So then I was like, hey, man, let's start doing it. And then we started doing it. And everybody used to like compliment us all the time. But I got it from her. So now like I don't do like the full foundation, the, not the full foundation, the full, um, what is it? What is it called? Uh, I don't do the full eyeshadow. I want to learn. But I've always just rather have like a color here. And I, I kind of like bring it down here sometimes depending on what I'm wearing. Today, I don't know what I'm wearing, but I have like a little interview that I'm doing in a little bit. So I'm just going to throw on something. I don't know what I'm wearing. If I was wearing something that would cut with color or something like that, then I will pop some color in here. But I probably just go with my favorite and that's cold. So let's go in with this. So like I said, like I like to use my fingers. So I go in. I'm what? Okay. Yeah, this one's almost out, you guys, but I got another one that I bought. So yeah, so I'm gonna go in and then I just dab, right? Okay, so everything's good. Don't worry, it's gonna go smooth. Like I said, my friend, my friends, they tell me like, you, you don't have to go in like that much with foundation, but like I said, they don't like a lot of, they don't like that cakey type of look. Now with me with the foundation, I always kind of go kind of heavy. That's just how I am. And it just depends on the day. Now, if I just wanna throw on something just to look like something, I may not go this heavy. So, and it looks like a lot, but it's not really, it's not really like a lot, but it, it may look like it, but I'm telling you, it's not. Well, maybe to y'all, I don't know, but okay. So I go in like that. Uh, yeah. So I go in like that. Yeah. Y'all probably be like, God, dude, that's too much. Yeah. But that's me. So now I'm going to get my favorite brush that I've been, been having for years. And this is a really good brush. Get this brush right. So I get this brush and I, this is really good guys. A lot of people feel like you gotta spend a lot of money on makeup, but you really don't, honestly. Like all this stuff that I got, it was very affordable. The only thing that I spend a lot of money on and I don't mind spending money on is uh, my concealer, my foundation and my powder. Other than that, everything else is like cheap. $5, $2, $6, $8, like, it, it doesn't cost a lot. And this is like probably like $8. I really like this, this finish. Um, So I spray that on, right? I go like that. And I go in and I pat. Now, before you guys, when I was learning, I was like swooping that mess. And I noticed, I was like, dang, like, I, I was looking at other girls that do their makeup. I'm like, man, my makeup don't look like, doesn't look like that. And then I started watching videos and I'm like, Seeing girls are like, you got to pat it on. You don't swipe it on. I did not know that. So I didn't know that at all. So I'm just going to keep patting. And I really take my time. My mom called me. She's like, do you, when you do your makeup, you're so like, you pat it on, right? I'm like, yeah. I was like, it does. See, sometimes it may seem like when you pat it on, it takes forever. Like it doesn't seem like the, the foundation is going anywhere, but it is. Honestly, you just really got to like, you know, take your time. Now, I'm not like a real like dramatic makeup look. I kind of like it look, look to look like really like natural but pretty. But so I don't, I, I I don't, maybe somebody else think, a lot of people, a lot of other people use like, you put too much stuff in your face, you don't need all that stuff. Like you're too pretty, you don't need all that makeup and all that stuff. But I know, but my face is different than yours. If I want to go on a little bit heavier, if I want a little dramatic look, which I love that like that look, then to each his own. I don't say nothing about nobody else's makeup. So when everybody be trying to come for me, I'm like, bro, like, I don't say nothing about you. I, yeah, your makeup's on point and you're giving me pointers. Like, that's cool. But it's just annoying because like, people got to understand people do things differently. Just because they do things that you don't like when it comes to their makeup, it doesn't mean that their makeup's not good. Some girls, like when they do like their brows and stuff like that, sometimes I'd be looking like, uh-uh. Like, that's, that's not for me, you know? When girls be, like, doing all that extra stuff, like, having their brows kind of, like, up and, like, laid down with the gel. I mean, it look, they can pull it off, but I I can't, you know what I mean? So that's another thing. Like, if they can pull it off and it works for them, then cool. But just because it works for them don't mean that it's going to work for me. So I'm just, like, you know, it's cool to tell somebody, like, hey, like, I feel like you can improve on this or that. But, like, when you start questioning somebody's whole face, like, that's just straight up disrespectful. Like, you don't do stuff like that. Telling you, like, you don't, you, you don't, you don't do stuff like that. So I just watch a lot of videos and I just got better and better and better, you guys. And my friends, they hype me up. They're like, I don't think you realize, like, how good you are at your makeup. Like, I feel like I'm decent compared to, like, other women. Is my, 
Let's wow, see. so that's why my that's why my camera be looking like that, you guys. Cause I don't be having my brightness on. It looks really dark. And I always turn my turn my brightness low because um I don't mean wanting my phone to die. But anyway, so like I said, look, oh my gosh. Now I can see because I was like, can you guys see? It was me that I couldn't see. So look guys. So and look at my brows. Y'all see it was looking crazy? It looks better. Okay, so I just pat, 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 pat. And another thing that I added to my regimen is that after I go in with my brush, right? I go in with a beauty blender. So that puts the icing on the cake. So as you guys can see, like y'all tell me, I think it looks good. I think it looks good. So that's that, right? So then I go in with a beauty blender. It looks like I use all of them. Um, let me use this one. This one looks pretty clean. So I go in with the beauty blender, right? And I just go over everything to make sure that it's really just smooth and really make sure that it's packed down. This is something I came up with my uh, myself. Like I said, I like that really like pretty. Finish. So I go in with that. And you guys, like, you guys should have seen my face a few years ago. It was way worse. And when I put my makeup on, you couldn't even tell that my face was that bad. Because that's how much I, I packed it down with hiding it. So I'm not gonna do a full a full uh video. I just wanted to really cover hyperpigmentation because a lot of people ask me about that. And they're like, I love your makeup. Like, it's like, it looks flawless, right? So, let me see. I wish I was in the light. I probably go in the light. So, that's what I do, you guys. And that's it. Boom. Bada boom, bada boom, bada bang. Bada bang, bada bang, bang, bang. Bada bang, bada bang, bang, bang. Bada bang, 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 bang. Bada bang, 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 bang. Bada bang, that's it. I'm not done with my makeup yet, but I just wanted to show you guys this part. So let's go to light. So that's what it looks like. Look at that. 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 Yeah. Ooh, my teeth look white. And I'll be looking that white when I be uh, drinking coffee. That's why I like drinking coffee. But yes, guys. So that's how I cover my hyperpigmentation. Once again, I use Longwear Matte Concealer. I'm telling you guys, get you some of this for real. This is the truth. And the other one I showed you guys, that's good too. But this is what I use today. So I'm just going to stri strictly talk about this. So this is how I hide my hyperpigmentation. I'm going to go in and finish my makeup. But yes, that's how I hide those big old pepperoni black 